Nate Diaz's win over Pettis, breaking his long layoff. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego in the back with some more fighting. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in fighting. If you want to become part of the gang gang notification gang, please hit the bell icon. ESPN Plus, they had a good fight card last weekend, UFC 241. Use the link in the description below if you would like to sign up for ESPN Plus. They have UFC and boxing. Cristiano Ronaldo is about to come back. And, you know, tons of your sports needs. I am an affiliate. It helps the channel. So if you're in the MLB and, you know, they got the 30 for 30s and everything on there, um, use that link. It helps the channel. helps us grow. Now, Conor McGregor on his verified Notorious MMA account, he responded. He posted this picture of him and Nate Diaz in all its bloody glory. And he responded to, or reacted, I guess is a better word to say. He reacted to Nate Diaz, who ended the long dry spell and stepped back into the octagon this past weekend and beat Pettis. And he, he, he dogged Pettis. You know, he did good. He, there's almost a round where he stopped Pettis. So it was a very good, uh, exciting promotion. In my opinion, it built um nate diaz's next fight whatever is going to be jorge masvidal if he does a conor mcgregor trilogy nate definitely got options i'm from cali i'm from northern california at that not not socal so you know i love seeing this shout out to nate diaz these nor cowboys don't be playing but this is what conor mcgregor had to say he said three years ago to the day myself and this mexican warrior went to war congrats on the win this weekend nate it was motivating to see it for my own comeback. I don't blame you not mentioning me for the trilogy bout post fight. You know what I'm like when I get going, vicious. I love the round three style from round one that you implemented. It's what I was hoping you would implement for this bout and was glad to see you do it. I'm prepared for it when we go again, if we go again. If not, respect always. A war for the ages. No bitch talk, just real shit. So, you know, that was a cool post from Conor McGregor. Um, his coach, uh, Kevin Yaw says, will always be my favorite fight, the BMF belt. Uh, damn, hella people are responding. So that was dope. You know, he just, because there was some trash talking and monster energy drinks were thrown. I feel like, when you go through a fight like that, a public, you know, for the world to see, and the person gives you that type of work, you almost have no choice but to respect them. You know, Nate Diaz is like the Terminator. Yeah, yeah, I'll be back. You know, this dude, he'll be cut, bleeding, scar tissue, leaking, and he don't care. He don't stop, you know, and that has to be discouraging because in the rematch, Conor McGregor, he dropped nate diaz to the mat a couple of times and you know nate diaz worked himself back into the fight and you could tell conor mcgregor was tired he kept looking at the clock and that's what happens when you when you fight one of the diaz you got to be you got to their conditioning and endurance and cardio is second to none it's phenomenal all the triathlons and staying busy in the weed smoke something you know so it was cool to see conor mcgregor and you know kind of pay homage to a classic war that was definitely a fun fight there's money going to be in the trilogy if they do do a trilogy especially off the heels of that performance i actually like the jorge masvidal fight a lot too him the way he knocked out ben Askren, set a ufc history in um knocking him out in five seconds you get what i'm saying so that is another fight that's two gangster motherfuckers one from the west coast one from miami scrapping I like it too. So Nate Diaz certainly has options. Um, UFC has been pretty lit lately. Conor McGregor has some issues outside of the octagon. You know, he also has unfinished business with another fighter now, Khabib Nurmagomedov. I seen him took he took some shots at Khabib recently. So I'm just anxious to see what what's next. There's definitely options. UFC is also getting into boxing this year. So. We don't know. I heard Conor McGregor might do another boxing fight with somebody. So we got to see what happens. Conor McGregor, he made a lot of money, so I think he's kind of just sitting it out 
chilling right now with family. But it'll be good to see him come back. Conor McGregor's big business. And people pay attention. People pay attention to his fights. Even though he's coming off a loss to Khabib Nurmagomedov and Floyd Mayweather. He has the mouthpiece to sell people. And he's taking these little breaks in between the losses. So people probably forget. You know, they almost forget that he lost. And then when he starts trash talking again, they'll be right back. So I'm anxious to see what's next for Nate Diaz and also Conor McGregor and Jorge Masvidal, all these guys. Let me know what you guys think. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think of Conor McGregor's message to Nate Diaz showing respect on some real shit drop your thoughts in the comment section make sure you smash the like button as always hate comment and subscribe till next video is ego sign it off so if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel you can show your appreciation by going to the paypal donate button or the youtube support button and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video much more to come thank you guys for your support boxing ego the future of boxing